everyone. Welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time to get our lovely space clear, to roll out those yoga mats and bring everyone into the room to enjoy yoga time together. It's going to be brilliant and you're going to be brilliant at showing everyone how it's done. Now today's adventure will have you hugging, we'll have you sparkling, we'll have you making rainbows, dancing, singing, ding! Oh, it's hug time. Ooh. Yes, because today we are joining Poppy, Troll and all of her friends as we remake the movie of Trolls as a yoga adventure. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we've got a special adventure inspired by the DreamWorks movie Trolls. That's why I've got my pink poppy hair and my pink poppy body. Oh, very exciting. Now our story begins 20 years ago in the happy forest in the happy tree. So let's come up to stand and do our tree pose, bringing one foot on top of the other, our hands together at our hearts. Let's grow our tree up nice and tall and open our branches and let's sparkle our fingers because we're a very happy tree, yes. Now can we do our tree pose on the other side? Let's try. Bring your other foot on top now using your heel, bring your hands together at your heart and grow your tree up nice and tall, opening your branches wide, sparkling your fingers and how about a big smile Ding! yay we're happy trees now living in the tree were trolls tiny creatures with big colorful hair let's come into our troll hero pose coming down onto our knees now take your hands forwards take your feet wide and snuggle your bottom down in between your ankles yes crisscross your fingers turn them inside out and lift your arms above your head coming into your troll hero pose now, if that's a bit ouchy on your knees, you can lift your bottom, scoop your feet underneath and sit back on your heels. Yes! Now, the trolls love to sing, to dance and to hug. Let's come up into a hug pose. Sitting up tall, arms wide, wrap yourself up in a big, beautiful hug. Oh, it's wonderful. Life for the trolls was full of glitter showers. Let's come into our glitter shower pose. Taking your arms wide, take your foot to the side and drop down onto one of your hands and sweep your arm up and over your ear. Yes, making a glitter shower appear. It was also full of rainbows. Coming back to two knees, arms wide, leg to the side, drop down onto one hand and sweep a big, beautiful arcing rainbow over your head. Wow, how lovely. Now the Bergens were the exact opposite of the trolls, always feeling sad and clomping heavily around Bergen town. Coming up to stand in our clompy Bergen pose. Feet nice and wide, fold your body forwards, holding onto your ankles and let's clomp. Here we go. Clomp, 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 clomp. Rolling up to sad stand. Oh, to be happy like a troll. That's all they wanted. Then one day, coming down to crouch, fingers to balance, a Bergen ate a troll. Seeing if you can balance with your fingers off and gobble a troll. Mm. It made him smile. And then it made him jump for joy with a big woohoo. After three, let's do a big woohoo jump in the air. One, two, three, woohoo! So this is the secret to happiness, eating trolls. And so they hold a festival each year, Trollstice, where they feast on trolls to be happy for one day. One Trollstice, the young Bergen prince, Prince Gristle, is lying in his bed. Coming to lie on our beds, everyone. Legs out long, arms down by our sides and closing our eyes. It was time to wake up. So we open our eyes. He sits all the way up and he stretches excitedly. <gasps> Today's the day he gets to eat his first troll. And no ordinary troll, Princess Poppy, the special baby troll. But come feast time, all the trolls escape down the secret tunnels. 
coming into secret tunnel pose onto our hands and our knees. Tuck your toes and lift your hips all the way up to the sky. Ah, they're escaping. And the Bergens reach down after them with their hands. Coming onto all fours again, everyone. Now, scoot your hand through the gap between your arm and your leg and see if you can rest on your shoulder, reaching for a troll. Ah, coming all the way back up. Let's do that on the other side. Scoot your hand all the way through the gap and reach for a troll the other way. Nope, they can't get them. Coming all the way up to stand. That's because the troll king, King Peppy, marches his people to safety. Let's march. He chants. No troll left behind. No troll left behind. No troll left behind. Back in the Bergen Palace, the king, King Gristle, sits sadly in his throne, bending your knees, sweeping your arms up by the side of your ears, coming into your throne pose. He tells his young son that he will never be happy, and he banishes Chef for letting the trolls escape, coming up to stand. Now, 20 years later, in the new troll kingdom, Princess Poppy decides it's time for a party. Jumping her feet wide, taking her arms wide, she begins to spin. And she sings, inviting everybody. Move your hair and feel united. Oh, oh, oh. Branch the grey troll crouches down, going shh. Too much noise and the Bergens will hear. You'll lead them straight to us. And then Creek, the yogi troll, arrives with a namaste. Sitting on your bottoms, crossing your legs. Bring your hands together. After three, let's do a namaste. One, two, three. Namaste. He encourages Branch to channel the positive energy and together we do an OM, just to do that. Bringing our thumbs and fingers together, resting them on our knees and let's OM. OM. Opening our eyes, bing! Oh, look at the time! It's hug time. Coming up onto our knees, arms wide, let's hug. Oh, wrap it in. Oh, yes, I could squeeze you forever. Now, despite Branch's warnings, the party happens. There are glitter cannons popping. Let's come into our glitter cannon pose. Up onto our tippy toes. Now we're going to jump in the air after three with a big pop of glitter. One, two, three. There's jumping to the music. Coming up to stand and let's jump. And there are light volcanoes exploding everywhere. Coming into volcano pose. Down onto our knees, bringing your hands down in between your knees. We're going to breathe in as we lift up. Here we go. And then we're going to blow a light volcano to the sky. Whoosh. Breathing in, lift up and whoosh a light volcano to the sky. Whoosh! And let's do a few little ones. Wow, it's amazing. It is loud, so loud that the Bergen chef hears them. She looks through her cosminoculars. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, everyone. Have a look through. <gasps> There they are, the trolls. She sees them, lowering her hands. Here she comes, taking big steps. Coming up to stand, everyone. Let's take a big step forwards. Here we go, big step. She reaches all the way forwards to grab a handful of trolls. Then she steps all the way back to put them in her pouch. <laughs> then she steps forward on the other leg. Big step. She reaches all the way in to grab those trolls and she steps all the way back whoop, to put them in her pouch. <laughs> oh no, the trolls run in all directions. Help! King Peppy and Poppy hide, coming into hiding pose, down onto our knees, untuck our toes, folding our heads all the way forwards to be very quiet as we hide under our hair. Shh. Coming up to sit. When the coast is clear, Poppy decides she needs to save everyone and she gets up quietly. She tiptoes down to branch the grey troll's bunker. Shh, 
shh, shh. She asks for his help, but he doesn't want to. And so Poppy brings all the other trolls down to hide with him, just in time for... <coughs> ding! Hug time! Arms wide, wrap yourself up in that big, beautiful troll hug. Ah, uh, lowering your arms all the way to the side. And so Poppy sets out on her journey alone into the scary forest. To feel brave, she sings about the sunshine, reaching up to the sun, give it a wave and say, hello, sun. She sings about the butterflies, coming to sit in butterfly pose, soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and fluttering your butterfly wings. Yes, lovely. Even getting soaked by the rain, using your fingers to pitter patter your head and your face all the way round, maybe your legs, yes. And she gets chased by the wiggly wormy monsters, coming into our wiggly wormy monster pose. Onto our tummies, everyone. Hands underneath your shoulders. Now wiggle, 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 wiggle all the way up, making yourself into a wiggly wormy monster. She sings, I'm not giving up today. And about getting up again, tucking your toes up onto all fours, walking your feet forwards and rolling up to stand. Then comes the spider's web. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide. Oh no, she gets wrapped up in a sticky cocoon. Bringing your feet together, now crossing one leg over the other and bending your knees. Arms wide, scissor your arms, wave with your underneath arm and twizzle them round, sitting yourself down a little bit lower. Oh no, she's in a real sticky cocoon. And here come the spiders scuttling along to gobble her up. Taking your feet wide, coming into spiders Spider pose, bending your knees, hands going between your feet. Now ticker, ticker, ticker your fingers round the back to the ins outsides of your feet and walk your feet all the way in, coming into your spider pose. Oh no, but just in the nick of time, who should appear? But Branch the Grey Troll, using his hair like a warrior to shoo them away, coming up to stand into our warrior pose. One foot forward, one foot back, Bend your knee, sweep your arms up high and open them wide. Let's shoo those spiders. Shoo! And jump the other way. Shoo! Branch has decided he will help Poppy. Together that night, they make a campfire, sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, bringing our elbows forward and wiggling our fingers like they're the flames of the fire, crackling away. It's time to go to sleep. And so Branch and Poppy lie down, lying down with your legs long and your arms down by your sides. Ah, Poppy can't really get to sleep. And she looks up at the starlit sky. She sings. Stars shining bright above me. Branch rolls over, taking your arms wide, bringing up your knees, taking them over one way and your head over to the other. He looks at Poppy and he goes, shh. Then he rolls over the other side, lifting up your knees, going to the other side and your head to the other side. Poppy sits up and she takes out a ukulele, taking hold of your foot, bringing it to your body and strumming it like a ukulele. She begins to sing to Branch. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Branch sits up. Poppy puts the ukulele down. Branch picks the ukulele up, picking up the other foot, and he's going to play it. But before he does, he throws it on the fire. <laughs> oh. Now, the next day, they arrive at the secret tunnels, which, are, which take them down to Bergen Town. Let's come into our secret tunnel pose, onto our hands and our knees. Tuck your toes and lift your bottoms to the sky. There are so many holes to choose from. Which one will lead them there? Walking your feet all the way forwards, rolling up to stand. And then Cloud Guy arrives, coming into Cloud Guy pose, bringing your feet together and turning your toes out to make them a V-shape, cupping your hands around your mouth and we're going to do a big blow to blow up a big puffy fluffy cloud. Here we go. Cloud Guy tells Poppy and Branch that one of the holes will lead to Bergen Town, the other hole will lead to certain death. And then he opens his arms wide 
and he invites little Branchy Wanchy in for a huggy wuggy. Branch has had enough of hugging and he chases after Cloud Guy. Come back! He dives down one of the holes after him, reaching your arms all the way up and folding all the way forwards, following Cloud Guy down the hole. Luckily, it leads them to Bergen Town, rolling all the way up to stand. Now, sitting in the palace is the young Bergen King, King Gristle, coming into throne pose. Feet hip distance, bend your knees, sweep your arms up by your ears and sit yourself down like you're sitting on a throne. He's with his pet crocodile, Barnabas, coming into crocodile pose, lying on our sides, arms long above our heads, and then opening and closing your jaws by lifting and lowering your arms. Very good, everyone. In comes Chef looking very proud and pleased with herself. Coming up to stand, she puts her hands on her hips and she tells King Gristle that she has captured the trolls and it is time for Trollstice again. <laughs> Just at that moment, Poppy and Branch tiptoe into the palace. Shh, 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 shh. Just in time to see Chef making a sandwich wrap out of their friend, Creek, the Yogi Troll coming into sandwich pose, sitting on our bottoms, legs out long. Chef rolls out the wrap. Let's rub our legs. Here we go. Roll out the wrap. Roll out the wrap. She takes her arms wide. She twists one way for Creek the Yogi Troll to put him in the sandwich. Creek Troll, Creek Troll, Creek Troll, Creek Troll. Then she takes her arms wide again. She twists the other way to get some lettuce to sprinkle on top. Here we go. Lettuce, 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 lettuce. Then she rolls the wrap up. Arms wide. Now see if you can bring your knees all the way in, lifting your feet, hugging them in. She shoves the whole lot into King Gristle's mouth. <clears throat> but before he can swallow, she slams the door. Coming into door pose, up onto two knees, leg to the side, arm to the sky, and let's slam it this way. Slam! Poppy feels sure Creek must still be alive, but first she needs to save the others. Coming up to stand, she and Branch jump onto the apron strings of Bridget, the Bergen scullery maid. Bringing your feet together, taking your hands up above your head, bringing your hands to touch. Now lean over one way, holding on tight to those apron strings, and lean over the other way. Oh, Bridget's taking them into her room to guard the trolls. And when she gets there, she comes to her knees and she sings a song about her secret love of King Gristle. Bringing your hands up. Hello, is it me you're looking for? And she lies down on her bed feeling sad. Arms down, legs down, crying. <laughs> and sleeping. <laughs> Opening your eyes, coming up to sit. Oh, this is so sweet, Poppy thinks. Bridget's in love with King Gristle. Oh, that's the loveliest thing. But she needs to save her friends. So she and Branch climb silently up to where they're kept in the cage. Coming up to stand, let's climb silently. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. When they get to the top, the trolls are so happy to see Poppy and Branch. They do a happy dance and they sing about having a party again. <laughs> Celebrate good times, come on! But we need to be quiet, so we crouch down and we shh. Now they're free from the cage, it's time to save Creek. But just as they're escaping, Bridget jumps up in star pose. Stop! Poppy needs to make a deal with Bridget and so sits calmly with her legs crossed. She suggests to Bridget that she and the trolls will turn her into a total babe so that she can get a date with the king. Coming into total babe pose, taking your legs out long, sweeping them round one way, putting your hand on your knee, your other hand behind you, looking over your shoulder, back to the front and going, ooh la la. Then let's do it on the other side, sweeping your legs round the other way, hand on your knee, hand behind you, looking over your shoulder, looking back to the front and ooh la la. In return, they ask Bridget to help them get Creek the Yogi Troll back. After some convincing, 
Bridget agrees, and so Poppy and the trolls get to work, transforming her into Lady Glitter Sparkles. Coming up to stand, everyone, she wiggles into a jumpsuit. Here we go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Then they jump on her head, bring your hands above your head, palms to touch, stretch your arms up high like your hair's growing very long, and now opening it wide, making that big, beautiful, rainbow-coloured hair. From here, the trolls can give Bridget the word she needs because they're standing on her head, just in case she gets stuck when she's talking to King Gristle. Bridget steps out, feeling rather awesome and confident. I'm coming out. I want the world to know, got to let it show. When King Gristle sees Lady Glitter Sparkles, he is in love. Seeing if you can make a heart shape with your fingers. Oh, yes. Together they go and eat some pizza. Sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs, we rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Isn't this amazing? They are happy without eating trolls. King Gristle decides to show Lady Glitter Sparkles his gem locket. Coming into our gem locket pose, soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet, now folding your head all the way forwards. We're going to lift up our head after three to open it up. One, two, three. Whoop. Inside is Creek, the yogi troll. He's alive. Even Mr Dinkle said something. Oh, snap. King Gristle asks Lady Glitter Sparkles whether she will be his plus one for Trollstice. And she says yes! Now they go roller skating, coming into roller skating pose. Up to stand, everyone, turning to the side. Now we're going to lift up one of our legs and take our arms wide to take our leg all the way back behind us in our roller skating pose. Woohoo! Coming up to stand. Should we try that on the other side? Yes, I think we should. Standing nice and tall, lifting up one of your legs. Now arms wide, taking it all the way back behind you, nice and strong. We're roller skating! Coming up to stand. They're having such a wonderful time. And then Chef arrives. She has her hands on her hips and she folds halfway forwards to get a closer look at Lady Glitter Sparkles. Mm-hmm. She recognises that it's Bridget, and Bridget knows she needs to get out of there. Coming up to stand, putting one foot forward, one foot back, bend your knee, arms wide. She skates as fast as she can. Whoosh! But she leaves a roller skate behind. <gasps> Coming to stand, King Gristle is delighted, folding all the way forwards. He scoops up the precious roller skate. <gasps> Will she be his Cinderella and come to Trollstice? He hopes so. He decides he needs to get fit. And so he starts exercising. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide. Let's do some windmill pose. Take your hand across to your opposite foot and reach your top arm up to the sky. Now let's switch sides. Take the other hand across and your other arm to the sky. Now let's see if we can do eight switching sides. Here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Rolling up to stand. This is their moment. The trolls wiggle in under the rug. Coming onto your tummies, everyone. Hands underneath your shoulders. And let's wiggle, 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 wiggle under the rug. They're looking for the gem locket with Creek inside. <gasps> there it is. Lying all the way down, reaching forward with your arms to grab it. They've got it. But just as they do, Barnabas the crocodile sees them rolling onto your side and opening and closing your crocodile jaw. Oh no, he's chasing them. The trolls jump on the roller skate, sitting up, legs out long, and they drive it out of there. Holding onto the laces, they go forwards really fast. Then they sit up really tall and Guy Diamond, the wonderful glitter troll, twists to the side and he blows Barnabas with his glitter. <laughs> and the other side, turning to the other side, blows them all glitter. <laughs> they think they've got away, but then the locket flies up into the air. Coming up onto our tiptoes, everyone. After three, let's jump in the air like with a locket. One, two, three. Whee! It pops open, sitting on our bottoms, soles of the feet together, bringing your head all the way forwards. After three, lifting it up. One, 
two, three, whoop. But Creek isn't there. He's disappeared. <gasps> Just at that moment, Chef arrives and she puts down a cage on top of them all, coming onto our hands and our knees, tucking our toes and lifting our bottoms to the sky. But who's this appearing? Walking your feet all the way forwards, rolling up to stand. It's Creek, the yogi troll. He's sold them out. He's agreed that he will ring Poppy's cowbell three times and lead Chef to where all the other trolls are hiding. Take your feet wide, crisscross your fingers behind your back, stretch your arms out. Now after three, let's fold forward and ring Poppy's cowbell. One, two, three. Ding! And up. One, two, three. Ding! And up. Last time. One, two, three. Ding! And up. This is so there'll be enough trolls for Trollstice. Come the day of Trollstice, Chef puts all the trolls into one ginormous pot. Coming into pot pose, lying on our tummies, everyone, bring your feet towards your bottom. Reach round to grab your ankles and kick your feet into your hands, lifting yourself up into your pot pose. Poppy's feeling sad. Sitting up, she hugs her knees. She feels like she's let everyone down. She feels like she's let everyone down and all of the positivity and hope leaves her. Her colour drains away and she is left grey. It then drains away from all the other trolls. Then, for the first time since losing his grandma, Branch comes forwards. Coming up onto our knees, everyone. He sings to Poppy. He tells her that he thinks her true colours are beautiful, like a rainbow. Let's do our rainbow pose. Arms wide, leg to the side, drop down onto one hand and sweep your arm up and over your ear, making your big, beautiful rainbow. Coming to two knees again, arms wide, leg to the side, drop down onto one side and sweep your rainbow up the other way. He sings to Poppy, and that's why I love you. Poppy comes up. Hearing this, hearing this hope again, brings hope flooding back to her. And she and Branch open their arms wide and share a big, wonderful hug. All of the colour comes back to the rest of the trolls and to Branch, who isn't grey, but is blue. Now the lid of the pot gets opened. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long, bending our knees, touching our toes. After three, let's lift our arms up to open the pot. One, two, Three. Ooh. It's Bridget. She's letting them all escape. She wants to thank Poppy for helping her find true happiness. But now Bridget is in some serious trouble for letting the trolls escape. Coming up to stand, one foot forward, one foot back. Poppy's not going to leave Bridget, nor are the other trolls, and they whoosh in on the roller skate to save her. Sweep your arms up, bend your knee, and let's whoosh. Whoosh! They jump back on Bridget's head, turning her back into Lady Glitter Sparkles. Hands together above your head, sweep your arms up and open them wide. King Gristle is delighted and stands in star pose to protect his Lady Glitter Sparkles. Poppy steps forwards. She reveals herself and she explains. You don't need to eat trolls to find happiness. It's in each and every one of us. We just need to find it. Look at King Gristle and Bridget. They had a lovely time and they didn't eat any trolls. The Bergens start to realise that this is true and they banish the chef once again, sending her out of the palace, rolling down the hill in a burning hot pot. Coming into our roly-poly burning hot pot pose, sitting on our bottoms, hugging our knees. Now we're going to tuck our chin and rock all the way back and all the way up. After three, one, two, three, whoop, wee! One, two, three, whoop, wee! Now this last time, can we rock all the way up to stand? Let's try, ready? One, Two, three, whoop, kick your legs, and up we go, yay! From that day on, Bergen Town blooms again, bringing your hands together, throw your arms up nice and tall and open your arms, spreading beautiful rainbow colours all over. 
Branch and Poppy share a big hug. Arms wide, wrap yourself up in that wonderful hug. And Poppy is now the queen. She makes a new law that hug time is all the time. Coming down to lie in our relaxation pose, our legs long and our arms down by our sides. We close our eyes and let ourselves relax here for a few moments, enjoying this peace and this calm. Letting all of the glitter and the sparkle settle in our hearts. So often we look for happiness outside of ourselves to things that we own, things that we buy, stuff. When actually real happiness lives inside each and every one of us. We just have to find it. And the time that we share with loved ones, with friends and families, we can double, triple, and maybe even quadruple our happiness by sharing just that special time with them. And the happiness we feel from a hug is so special and so strong. Look for the happiness in the little things in life. And that means life will be full of glitter showers and rainbows, just as it is for the trolls. And now it's time to wake up. We wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees into our chests and give them a nice hug. We roll onto our sides, pushing ourselves up to sit, opening our eyes and crossing our legs. We finish just the way we started with a namaste. So we bring our hands together at our hearts. And after three, let's say it together. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done everyone. That was super cool. You were amazing. I hope you enjoyed the Trolls adventure and I'll see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. was great well done you now let's get the volume turned up get ready to sing to dance and enjoy ourselves in the yoga disco hello everyone welcome to the cosmic kids yoga disco i'm jamie and this is your place for yoga dancing and lots of fun it's easy just copy the moves i do and enjoy the disco this one's called hot air ballooning, where we do our hot air balloon move. Ready? Now it's time to stand up straight. We've got to go. We can't be late. We're moving. No snoozing. Today we go hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Hot, hot air ballooning. Roll your shoulders round and round. Lift them up. Put them down, lift up one, lift up two, put down one, put down two, going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hot air ballooning, hot air ballooning, hot air ballooning, hot, hot air ballooning. Let's hop and jump in, then we wave and start to sing. Now cross your legs and sit down. Cup your hands around your mouth and blow it up good and big. Now 
we're soaring through the sky. Rock a rock a rock a bye. We're moving, no snoozing. Today we go hot air ballooning. 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 Hot, hot air ballooning. Now it's time to land on the ground. Back to earth, safe and sound. Tuck up small like a mouse. We made it back to our house. Hot air ballooning. Well done, everyone. That was brilliant. Now I have a Zen Den for you called Thought Bubbles. And this is all about how thoughts work in our mind and how they connect to our feelings. I hope you find it very, very useful. Hello everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to feel calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay healthy and happy. First, let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we bring our hands to our knees and take a big deep breath. Now, let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. Let's have some sounds. Oh yes! Lots of great sounds to choose from. Let's pick a couple that help us feel relaxed. A gentle stream. And a long note on a violin. Now for a smell. Oh, these look interesting. Oh, chocolate smell. Mm. Log smell. Ooh. Oh, yes. Let's smell the rosemary. Rosemary is a lovely herb and it helps our memory work well. Now we're feeling all calm and relaxed. We're ready to learn about our thoughts. Now, hmm, what is a thought exactly? Oh, look, bubbles. Aha! A good way to think about thoughts is with bubbles. Let's imagine these bubbles are our thoughts. They pop up in your brain. And sometimes there can be quite a few, all at once. Some of them are idea-like. I know, let's bake cookies. Some are memory-like. I remember when we went to the beach. Some are picture-like. Some are song-like. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Some are opinion-like. My favourite colour is purple. They don't hang around for long either. After a while they go pop to make room for new thoughts. The funny thing about thoughts is they join up to our feelings. So some thoughts make us feel happy. My friend is coming for a sleepover tomorrow. Some thoughts make us worry. My math homework is really hard and I don't know if I can do it. Some thoughts even make us laugh. How do you tease a piece of fruit? Banana na na na. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn. Let's have a look at some of your thoughts. When I ask you a question, just notice what thought pops into your head. There's no need to say it, just have the thought. It may also have a picture with it too. Ready? Take a deep breath and clear all your thoughts away to make your head feel clear. <sighs> Here we go. What is your favourite colour? 
What is your favourite food? What is your favourite fruit? What makes you really happy? What do you worry about? Do you notice how busy your brain gets when you have all these thoughts bouncing around? Remember, you can always choose which thoughts to believe and which ones aren't helping you. Whatever happens, know that they always do pass, pop or fade away. Often thoughts have a funny habit of popping up when you really don't need them. Like bedtime. It's good to know what thoughts are so we can sort them out when our heads feel really busy and too full. The secret to helping ourselves when this happens is super easy. It's breathing. Yes, as simple, isn't it? And I know that you are already a master of breathing. So, when thoughts are bubbling over, find a place to be comfy and still. Spend a few moments just breathing. Think in through my nose and out through my mouth. And if you need something to think as you breathe, try this. Breathe in, think one. Breathe out, think two. After that, your thoughts will settle down. I hope that helps you know your thoughts a little better. So you can watch out for them and pick the ones that are most helpful to you. Keep up the practice to become a true Cosmic Kid Zen Den Master. Bye bye! That was brilliant! Well done you! Now we're going to get the wriggles out. We're going to use some energy with a really exciting game of super yoga. In super yoga, you copy the moves as they come down on the screen and you score points for doing the poses. And at the end, you get a lovely relaxation where all the goodness of the points goes into your body. I hope you love it. Super yoga! Keep 
bird pose. Tree pose. Treasure chest. Don't suppose. Digging pose. You were great! Well done, you! Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Bicycle pose. Coming down to lie on our backs. We crisscross our fingers and put them behind our heads, lifting our shoulders a little bit. Then we lift our legs up and we pedal like we're pushing the pedals on our bicycle. And as we zoom along, we sing our special roly poly song. Here we go. Roly poly up, up, up. Roly poly down, down, down. Roly poly, ever so slowly. Roly poly, roly poly, quick, quick, quick. Now, bicycle pose is very good for strengthening our core and the muscles in our sides, which are called obliques. And every time we push our pedals, we're stretching the backs of our legs. And that's where our hamstrings lig. Mm. Oh, hi, guys. Keep going, everyone. Oh, 20 more miles to go. Hopefully we'll make it back in time for dinner. Woo! Bicycle pose. Well done, that was great. Now we have a lovely Peace Out for you. Peace Out is our guided relaxation series and it really helps your brain and your body totally calm and chill out. It's very, very good for you and I hope you feel wonderful afterwards. Peace Out. Bye Bye Boat. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Take a little bit of time to get yourself ready. You need a place to sit or lie down. 
so you feel happy to be still for a few moments. Get nice and comfy, so do any fidgets, roll your shoulders a couple of times and just allow your body to settle. Okay, now you're settled and you're in a good spot. Let's listen to our breathing. It might be very quiet, quieter than a whisper. But if you listen carefully, you might just start to hear it. Coming in and going out. Coming in and going out. Maybe you can feel it too, around your nostrils as the air comes in and out, your chest lifting and lowering, even your tummy as it fills up and empties with each breath like a balloon. If you haven't already, Just allow your eyes to gently close. Now you're in your mind and you can enjoy being taken on a lovely, dreamy adventure. You are at the ocean, standing on a beach. The sun is warm and there's a little breeze which you can feel on your body and face. Sitting by the water's edge is a little boat. This boat is for you. So you untie the rope and give it a push, hopping in once you get deep enough. Off you go, being carried by the waves out to sea. What a lovely feeling this is, freedom on the ocean. The sun feels warm on your face and body. The ocean waves gently rocking you. It's peaceful here at sea. Just the sound of the birds above and far away. Little splashing sounds of water as the waves meet the boat. In the distance, you pick up on another sound. A humming noise. It's very quiet to begin with, but gets louder and clearer as it comes nearer to you. You recognise the sound as another boat. The driver is a kind old man. He is smiling peacefully as he pulls up next to your boat. He turns the engine off and tells you he has brought the bye-bye boat for you. He then asks for your worries. He wants you to hand them over to him. You take a moment to think of all your worries, every last one. You pack them up and pass them over, putting them onto the bye-bye boat. Next, the kind old man asks for your anger. Again, he'd like you to put it on the bye-bye boat. So you get all of your anger, everything that's really frustrating. You gather it all up and you do just that. You put it onto the bye-bye boat. Finally, the kind old man asks for your fear. You make a special effort to collect all of your fear, all that you are afraid of, every last bit of it, and you hand it over, putting that on the bye-bye boat as well. The old man looks and smiles at you. You smile back at him, enjoying the moment. You feel so good now. You feel light. You don't have any worries, 
anger or fear to carry anymore. You are free. The old man starts the engine. He raises his hand and gives you a little wave. With those kind eyes and that warm smile, he drives the bye-bye boat away. We lay back down in our boat and once again feel the warmth of the sun on our skin, the gentle rocking of the waves and the sounds of the ocean lulling us into peace. There's always a way to let go of the stuff that holds us back. And usually that stuff is worry, anger and fear. It's natural to have all of them. It's part of being human. But we don't need to let them swallow us up. We can make them easier to deal with by taking them out and putting them somewhere else, like the bye-bye boat. Once we do this, we have freedom, we are lighter, and we often find solutions to the problems we've been worrying about. When we're ready, we head back to the beach, our boat gliding gently over the water, carrying us back to the sandy shore. We sit up tall and stretch as we return to land, opening our eyes to come back to where we began. Take a moment before you move anywhere or start doing something else to notice how you feel now. Take this feeling of peace and calm with you. Your body, heart and mind will be better for it. This is Jamie saying peace out. <laughs>